Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use this blender to create the cheese piece, the palm cheese piece, like this. And I use this 3D model to make a wooden cheese piece with my CNC machine. So the first step, I need to create a 3D model like this. There have two models, but I choose this one not this one. I will tell you why later. So I open the X-ray and move this model along the X-axis and this one here. Okay, so now first I need to import an image. Shift A import a reference image. Find this picture I download from the internet. I hide it. First, I need to create some lines to sure the size of the chess piece. Shift A, import mesh, single, add a single word. So here I add a single word. Now choose it and press E to exclude it along the Z axis. I need to create 33 millimeter. So I type the 33. Okay. This is a line. And I press E again along the X axis. Here is 23 millimeter. Again along the Z axis. 33 minus. Okay. And I choose this word E. Extrude here. So this rectangular is the size of the cheese pieces. Now I open the picture. Choose this picture and uh, S to scale it. And the G move it to the to this the button on this line. Scale again. Here, now I type the Z. Okay. G, move it again. Okay, the high is okay, but I need to scale again. Now, type the X. Move it S X Move it Okay now this this image in the center of the rectangular this is the size so now shift A add a mesh add a cylinder here it's too small, so I need to change it. Radius is 11.5. Depth is 13.3. Okay. Vertex become more like this. Okay. So now I move this cylinder to here. So now I choose this vertex and the scale S to scale. Maybe here. And Ctrl R to add the loop. Four loops. Ctrl R. Here, I add another one. Here, okay. So now I choose these loops and move G. Z move down to here. So now I go into to this shape first. 
choose this loops S to scale. Control R and the three loops here. I choose this loop and the S to scale to here. And this loop S this loop Control R and the three loops here. Choose this loop scale. So I use the same way to create the rest of the shapes. Okay, now I will create the shape of the test pieces. Close the extreme. Go to the object model. So here, modifier here, add a subdivision surface. Levels view, change it to 3, render 3, 4, I think. It's okay. So this is a shape like the image. This model like this model. The same as this model. But I have to change some shapes for easy to make with my same same machine. So I change this model to this model. Let's have a look. You can see this part, the button part. Here I make it higher than this. And this part, I also make it higher. Why I will change this, this part? Because if I use this sink list, this sink list is very small. So this part and this part will be destroyed when the certain machine make it. So I change the sink list. When the sink list is bigger, the tool cannot destroy the surface. So this is very important. So I need to change this model. So I hide the picture and I choose this part. G, Z, move it higher like this. So this part is higher, like this. Also, this part I need to move it. G, Z. Okay. I need to choose these loops and these loops. Here, I turn mean crease to 1. So let's look. This shape, it become better. And this loop, I need to crease it to 1. OK, let's have a look. So the surface of the button is flat. Close the X-ring. Let's look. I think it's, it's good. So this one, I created it before. I'll use this model to make our wooden pieces with my sensor machine. So now I need to export this model. I choose this model and File, export. I export to the STL file. Click 
here, find our place here. And you have to click this button, selection only. That means you export only this model. So I give a name and click the export XTO.